Okay, YouTube, this is the fourth hour uh, of our experiment to determine whether or not a, a grid tie inverter, in this case a 500 watt grid tie inverter that's connected to a 24 volt uh, battery bank system um, is even worthwhile. Okay, um, now looking at it again, looking at the numbers, this is the fourth hour, let's see what we've got. Okay, the battery bank uh, is at 25.1 volts. Um, it's holding steady at, uh, well, actually it's fluctuating at this point as far as the upwards coming out of the battery bank. <coughs> um, at one point it was at 4.9 and, and so forth. Um, I guess it's holding steady at 5 amps or 4.9, 5 amps coming out of the battery bank. Seems like it went up within the last hour from 3.9. So it's, it went up about an amp. Um, and I'm sure that's, pro that's because of the accessories that I've got running. I.e. I have a, um, I've got a, you know, a, a camera you know, that's running and security cam and so forth. So my guess is that's you know, because of movement and some other things. I guess that's amps um, but anyway we are at f five amps uh, roughly coming from the uh, battery bank if I turned off some externals here turning off the cameras uh, not the camera but the uh, the uh, extra fans brings it down to like 4.5, 4.4, 4, 4 or, or something like that. So I'll turn that back on so we can keep my inverter cool. But anyway, 4.9 coming out of the battery bank. And let's see what the state of charge is. Okay, and we are at a state of charge of 90%. Okay, and this is after four hours, okay? on a mostly sunny day okay mostly sunny day we're still at 25.1 amps holding steady 4.9 amps coming out of the battery bank and 90 percent state of charge outside temperature is 69 degrees inside temperature holding steady at 80 degrees again which is good for the batteries that's fine watts going into the house okay it's at 472 right now uh, actually it's fluctuating between 471 472 okay so after four hours I think this pretty much tells the story um, the voltage never got below you know 25 volts in a 24 volt system under load um, amps coming out, I think we can, you know, average out to be, you know, five amps roughly coming out of the battery bank um, after four hours, you know, and the state of charge is at 90%, which is still considered full. That means the uh, depth of discharge was only 10%. So the state of charge is, is 70%, is, is 90%. And the depth of discharge, meaning the amount of uh, power coming out of the battery, was at 90, is at 90% after four hours. Okay, now, four hours at, and if you can just multiply four times um, uh, 470, uh, let's say 472 watts, and you'll get how much power that was coming, uh, that was being put back into the house after four hours. Okay, now, at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch it. I'm going to turn, well, first of all, I'm going to turn off my grid tie inverter here. Okay, the grid tie inverter is turned off. I can turn off this fan because I don't really need it. Okay, now as you can see, uh, the voltage jumped from, you know, jumped up to 25.8. And now my amps coming back into the battery is 18.1. Now, at this point, what I want to do is just simply charge the batteries for a couple of hours. So I can offset the battery, the, uh, the power that was taken out. Okay, as you can see, it's leveling off at 18 amps. Okay, now, 
in about two hours, uh, I'm going to come back and I'm going to check the uh, state of charge to see uh, how well the batteries charge after two hours. So again, the idea was to run this for four hours and for the remaining, for about two hours, charge up the battery. And, you know, and then, you know, repeat the process at another time. Again, to determine whether or not it's, you know, okay to have, um, you know, a grid tie inverter connected up to the battery bank. Now, in essence, what I'm doing is I'm just simply using the battery bank as a buffer, okay, to let the power come in and so forth. And then, you know, power comes in and I take the power out. Um, you know, it's just a buffer area. And what it does, the benefit is my chart or my uh, power inverter gets a steady voltage as opposed to fluctuating voltage. It gets steady uh, power, basically. It gets steady volts and it gets steady amps for that four hour period. And as you can see, um, you know, there's no real harm done to my battery bank. A 10% uh, uh, depth of uh, discharge. Uh, that's not even considered a cycle, okay? So there is, you know, there's no harm done at, at all. And as you can see, uh, the voltage is already up to 26.4 volt charging volts, okay? Now, um, you know, I'm going to pause, pause this and, and then I'm going to come back in a, in a couple of hours and then we're going to see, you know, whether or not my battery bank is charged or not or how, what is the uh, charge value uh, after two hours.